Have you ever heard of a maglev train? It's a revolutionary transportation system that uses magnets to levitate and propel trains. Let's dive deeper into the physics behind it. Magnets have two poles, north and south. When two magnets with opposite poles are brought close together, they attract each other. And when two magnets with the same pole are brought close together, they repel each other. This phenomenon is due to the magnetic force. In a maglev train track, there are two sets of magnets, one set on the trains and one set on the track. The magnets on the train are called the levitation magnets, while the ones on the track are called the guidance magnets. As the train moves along the track, the levitation magnets on the train interact with the guidance magnets on the track. These interactions create a magnetic field that produces a force on the train, causing it to levitate above the track. This reduces friction and allows the train to travel at high speeds with minimal resistance. To propel the train forward, there are also propulsion magnets on the track that interact with the levitation magnets on the train. These magnets are arranged in a specific pattern that creates a changing magnetic field. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, a changing magnetic field induces an electric current. This electric current interacts with the magnetic field produced by the magnets on the train, resulting in a repulsive force that propels the train forward without the need for wheels or a traditional engine. To slow down or stop, the train's levitation magnets are simply turned off, and the train is lowered back onto the track by the force of gravity. This demonstrates the influence of gravity, which is a fundamental force in physics. And that's the physics behind the maglev train. With the ability to travel at speeds over 300 miles per hour, this technology showcases the fascinating interplay between magnetism, electromagnetic induction, gravity, and energy conversion.